Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with the reading for you. All right. I just woke up and Spirit was like, get out there and there's a message for somebody. So hopefully this can help you through whatever it is that you're going through. And let's get started. Spirit, please show me what messages do we have for the collective? What is the most important message the collective needs to hear right now? Okay, we got soulmates. Spirit, please show me what is the most important message. <clears throat> we got regeneration, but it landed on its side. So do you want to open up? Ah, blessed in the reverse, bottom of the deck, exchanging gifts. Okay, matter of fact, we are start. you know, we're in Christmas time right now. So this is a time of exchanging gifts with the people that we love. Okay. I mean, that's like the mundane meaning of these cards together, right? For others of you, it goes much deeper than this. Okay. So let's get into that. This is about seeking out the people who see you as a gift, who see you as someone that is important in their life. Just as something someone gave them. It's like the universe, you know, brought the two of you together or you and a group of people together because of this, this gift that you all have to share with one another. And it's like, you know, for some of you, do you want to rebuild a relationship and, you know, reinvent a, a relationship with old soulmates or the, the soulmates that you have in your life now? And with the regeneration here on its side, it is the number 10. It's 46. Four plus six is 10. So this is about ending something, ending something with people from the past. I want to read that. Number 27, because we've got nine. So two plus seven is nine. Four plus one is five. Then we have 10 and we have four. So the overall message is about perseverance, not giving up. Why would you want to be around a bunch of people who don't see you as a gift? The law of giving and receiving currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. See, this is about people who find the value because we have the soulmates here. This is, you know, being around people who see your value. And anything that's not that, let it burn down. I almost see that as like lava right down there, right? It's like this tree is still standing even after adversity, even after every, every element came in to wipe this out, that tree, no matter what, is still standing. So it's like you're still standing strong after all of this. You're entering into, into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. So what relationships are you choosing to pursue at this time? You have what it takes to be successful if you allow, are aligned with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a, ti a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value other people bring into your life. Do these people bring any value into your life? Because again, 
you're going to have to get rid of some of those people. Listen, they don't see you as a blessing. We've got blessed in the reverse. I want to read that card, number 22. So what is the protection message with that one? Humility is called for now as grace is an unearned gift. You didn't gain this by your own desires or actions to be who you need to be. You can no longer do what you did. In a way, you have hit rock bottom and what is required now is nothing less than total surrender. Then you will be blessed. So in the upright, this card talks about something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is in an unforeseen gift from spirit. You didn't gain, listen. I almost feel like, you know, sometimes people just want to see the worst in others or they're just bullies. I just get the word bullies on this, you know, because in the upright, look how sweet she is. But in the reverse, sitting next to this regeneration, right, I get bullies. People who just don't see your value, they don't see your worth. Um, 46, let's look at the regeneration and the protection message on that. Endings come in many forms and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die. Yeah. What must die is some of these relationships you've been holding on to so that something better can take its place. Nature cycles include disease, decay, and death and regeneration. Let whatever isn't working in your life die and don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or grieve. Whatever your query, let it go. You're about to be reborn. Now, I don't understand. I don't agree with the grieving process. I think everybody needs to grieve because if you don't take the time out to grieve now, you will be made to later. So I think you're kind of already in that. If you're going through this situation because it is in your present moment, you are grieving the people that you've had to leave behind. The people who didn't see you as a gift in their life. The people who, you know, went out of their way to misunderstand you. Who didn't see you as a blessing in their life. You know what I say to those people and I have it tattooed right here on my chest. Hug me, kiss me, love me, miss me. And maybe that's the motto you need to take on. You know, people will hug you. They'll kiss you. They tell you they love you. And then they fuck you over. And then they come back later on and they go, I'm so sorry. I miss you. It's like, you're damn right you do. I'm a fucking delight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but the question is, do you even want this person back in? After they've showed you their true colors. You know, I get this. <clears throat> like, at this point, it's like you're putting the lid on. Maybe for some of you, it's like you're just, you know, friends with your animals, you know. You get along better with animals than you do humans. And I know a lot of people who do that. Because, you know, humans seem to be, they're cruel, they're mean, you know. And that's what I see here. I see cruelty and meanness. And the fact that, you know, and maybe for some of you, they tried to take something away from you. They tried, whether that was your reputation, they could have tried to take your business, they could try to take your ideas, they could try to just tarnish who you are because they just wanted to burn you to the ground. Well, they weren't successful. They weren't successful because you're still standing, even after all this, after all the pain, the sadness, the hurt. I want to read the number 41. I want to read the protection message because I almost feel like that's what, oh, I opened it right to it. An important relationship to bring you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve you, your well-being into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. The question is, why 
it, or the question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. I'm re reading. What is the reconciliation? Or I'm sorry. What is the gift in this? What is the gift in this? The gift is that you let go of the people who didn't see your value. And then you, what happens is, is you open yourself up to the people who do. Because at the end of the day, you are a gift. And there's going to be some people who see you as that and some people who don't. Such is life. I think this is where you got to get to the point of like, who gives a fuck what people think about you? If you know who you are, if you know what you bring to the table, and these people don't see that as such, find new people. Like, yeah, it can be sad. It can, it can suck because we have to scrap it. We got to burn it all down. And for some of us, we're just fucking far too old for that. Like I'm fucking 44 years old. I get along way better with animals than I do humans. Don't get me wrong. I get along with a lot of fucking humans. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking people who absolutely adore me. And then you have those people who want to go out of their way just to fuck with me for no reason. Maybe because I said something to them that they didn't like, you know, but it didn't mean that it wasn't the truth. It's just, they can't handle the truth. So I'll get in trouble for that. Well, hug me, kiss me, love me, miss me. Because at the end of the day, you have to be willing to sacrifice these relationships knowing that you gave them a truth. And if that means that you burned down the entire relationship for a truth that you spoke, that's a fucking blessing. It might not feel like it. Might not feel like it. But at the end of the day, you don't want those kind of people in your fucking life anyway. I want to burn some sage. That was telling me to burn some sage. <laughs> it reminds me of the regeneration card. Maybe that's what you need to do. You need to cleanse your energy. You need to cleanse your area. Cleanse yourself. Purify your home. You know, have, when was the last time you did all that? Huh? I think that's the first time in a reading I've ever had to like cleanse my space. Listen, you, you might even decide you just want to be a cat lady. <laughs> I don't blame you. Not gonna lie. As much as I love helping people, sometimes people really do suck. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the cards that just came out. Yeah, people suck. This is cruel and unusual punishment. It's like you're not accepting anything from anybody that you've had to walk away from. Yeah, you, you got four of cups underneath the, the soulmates card. You've got the five of swords underneath the regeneration. You know, people wanting to maybe try and come back in after they've, you know. I think you're just tired I think for a lot of you, you're just tired. You're tired of unnecessary bullshit, unnecessary fighting and arguing. You're just, you're not accepting anything anymore. You're just kind of like, you got your hands crossed. There, somebody's trying to offer you something. You're like, nah, no thank you. You know, no thank you. It's almost like you're safer that way. Yeah, underneath the blessed is the two of pentacles like weighing up what you, should, what you should do next. What do we got here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's in the upright. So Ten of Pentacles. This could be family with the Ten of Pentacles here. Friends that feel like family because it is underneath the soulmates. Dude, you know, there's the magician underneath the regeneration. I think for a lot of you, you're just kind of at this place of like, God, when does this ever end? You're tired of the fighting, the arguing, the bickering, the bitching. Here comes the, the hasty words. You probably didn't do something that everybody wanted you to do. And here comes, you know, this fast communication. 
Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, ew. Yeah, you piss someone off. Look at this. You got the uh, Knight of Swords. Somebody in here like weighing up. Should I say something? Should I not? Should I say something? Should I not? And, and then all of a sudden they come in all hasty like. That sounds to be like a family reunion. You piss somebody off and someone here, you know what? They're just moving on. <laughs> They're moving on from relationships. They're moving on. Some of you, I feel like you guys are going to spend the holidays alone. I think that you're, you know, we do have that full moon coming up to um, the day after Christmas. It's going to be on Christmas too. Sun in Capricorn, moon in, in, in Cancer. Uh, you know, that's, that's family. That's family shit. You know, you've always got to have some type of family drama. Never fucking ending. There's always around Christmas time. Somebody's got to have their drama. But I feel like, you know what, you're, you're manifesting something more long-term. I'll be honest with you, you know, we've, and we do have the mother here, the empress. I feel like, you know, you're over here manifesting. Ab abundance for yourself after conflict. I do think you are walking away. And even if this isn't just about Christmas and family, you know, cause it's not, this goes much bigger than that. We have these major arcanas are here. So this really does go out further. Like, you know, I think for the first of the year, you know, we do have the magician <clears throat> and we have the regeneration, which is like the death of the old year, 2023 and what you're manifesting into the new year. Like you're manifesting your abundance, your riches, you know, you're the, the empress in the upright, you know, and you can be a man, male or female does not matter, but it's the energy of the card. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're manifesting something new into the new year. I do feel like there is going to be some type of communication or uh, if there hasn't been already, somebody is weighing up whether or not they want to communicate. But I just, I don't know. I, I think that it's just, if something does come in, it's a text message. It comes in very hasty-like. And I think someone just kind of sits on it. I think there's one person who's very grounded, who's just kind of like, uh, you know, they are methodical. They think about what they say. They're thinking about what they're doing. They're planning for their future, you know, and then there's somebody else who just comes riding in really fast. I also see where someone here could also get a, a message and it could be from, I'm getting an attorney or something like that that has to do with somebody's passing and I'm getting an inheritance and you don't see it coming, like you're not seeing it coming in, like maybe you didn't think that somebody had left you something and they actually did. There could have been someone here that was blocking that from coming in. I just got confirmation on that when I said that. So someone here has something coming in that could have been blocked from family members. Yeah, this queen of wands here could have been trying to block you. They're not going to be very happy when they find out you got the message. That's a side note for someone here. For others of you, it's like you're manifesting maybe something for your mother. Like maybe you, you're traveling in to come and see your mother. And I feel like for some of you... You're even investing in something for your mother. You could be investing in property for your mother. I am getting the Ten of Pentacles here with the Knight of Pentacles that is facing the, the Empress. So 
make sure that it doesn't put you out. I think some of you are doing it just to like, you're doing it to make sure that your mother is taken care of, even though it might be creating some type of a conflict as well. Someone here is deciding on whether or not they want to open up that can of worms with you again. I think that for a lot of you, you're just manifesting something new. Why is this queen of wands in the reverse? The sun. Ugh, somebody trying to block somebody else's happiness. Yeah. Ace of wands. Uh, yeah, seven of swords in the reverse. Somebody's trying to block someone else from reconciliation, blo uh, block them from their gifts. Doesn't matter. It's still coming through. They won't be successful. That's for sure. This person is willing to bulldoze you just to keep you from getting what you deserve. But the, at, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. This person will not succeed. What is the Empress? Yeah, they won't succeed. Seven of Wands. Someone here is definitely, this, this Empress is being protected from this Queen of Wands who is looking back. And I think the Empress is also protecting herself. So if you are the Empress, the mother, you're defending yourself. You are definitely being defended. Somebody's defending you. Yeah, it's taken a lot of inner strength. There's a lot of courage. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. What do we got here? Two of Wands. Yeah, uh, somebody here is moving too. This this empress here is moving. There's something being set up. There's something here about this empress moving. You could be moving to another city or state, country even, because we do have the world there. Or even just a new zip code. You know, it doesn't have to be. But it's almost like this Queen of Wands tried to block this Empress. The Empress is in the upright. So good luck block, blocking an Empress. No queen is going to wipe out an Empress. That just doesn't happen. Yeah, here's the minor arcana to the Empress. Good luck. That's all I have to say. Good luck. Any adversity when it comes to this Empress will be overcome because she is the Empress. Because she's protected. And she has the magician that is backing her. These are two major arcanas, and they're both connected to the Empress. This Queen of Wands has no bearing on this Empress's life. My final wrap-up on this is good luck. Anybody trying to block this Empress, you know, from getting whatever it is that she's supposed to be receiving, good luck, okay? She is going to let go of what needs to be let go of. We already see that with the five of swords here. She's not even going to mince words. She's not even going to, you know, there's no juggling. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? You know, maybe a little bit in the back of her mind, but at the end of the day, the Empress knows what to do. Be like the Empress. I'm going to leave that here. Uh, Merry Christmas, you guys. Happy, uh, yeah, have a... Happy Christmas Eve or whatever it is that you guys celebrate. For those of you who don't celebrate, um, have a great Saturday, Sunday, whatever today is. What is today? Sunday? <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know anymore. It is the last chance to get in on my buy one, gift one, half off sale. So if you're interested in that, those have been selling out. Um, and thank you to everybody who's already purchased one. I appreciate you. Um, and I look forward to working with your family members as well. It is a really awesome time 
um, of year to, you know, give gifts and, you know, even give yourself a gift. Don't forget about that. It is okay to be a healthy selfish. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram under the footsteps to peace. You guys, I love you all so much and we will chat again soon. Take care.